Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, continuing our Tomb Kings playthrough uh, as the Khamri. Um, I hope you're having a great day, and this will be the second episode that goes up on Monday. Or the second episode of the series, this will go up on Monday. Has gone up on Monday if you're watching this in the future. Um... <clears throat> And my apologies for not, there not being any sort of wildcard video like this weekend, like I said in the schedule video originally. Uh, there just wasn't anything of the quality recorded that I felt that was uploadable. Um, so I'll try and do better next week, but again, the videos I, prom I can promise you for sure are the ones that will happen on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday, and those will be either Empire at War or Total Total War Warhammer. Uh, but today, we're going to do about an average length, ep length episode on this, um, maybe a little bit shorter than the first episode. Um, we'll see. Um, I anticipate a fair amount of just rolling over turns in this. Uh, simply because we took that city and then there's kind of not really anything super close to us that we can do at the moment. So, um, go ahead and get rid of that. To recap what happened last time, this army marched into this er territory and didn't do anything as just standing there. We took Gargazon, um, late in the last episode. Come on. Here we go. Um, and then basically not a whole lot else has happened since then. Um, really not much. Um, I'll go ahead and re-recruit some chariots. Um, and that's about all we can do for right now. Man, what? Come on, game. What's going on here today? Why are you so sluggish? Goodness, I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, I don't... Again, I haven't played these these guys before, so I don't... Their lords aren't super familiar with to me. Um... Yeah, it looks like that's basically an end turn at this point. Oh, they're gonna sit in a raiding camp there. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Jerks. So, this isn't part of our main province here. Um, that vamp vampire territory over there is part of our province. I'm, I'm thinking they may be our ne yeah, um, I'm thinking they be our next... I don't know what that was that popped up on my screen real quickly and then went away. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking that uh, Zandri might be our next next target here. Um, depending on what happens in the Battle with the Orcs. <clears throat> so... I'll go ahead and throw some additional units in here. Clade Lord. Hmm, that's interesting. They have one of the books. Highborn. None of these things. Lord of the Glade. Well, this could be interesting. <clears throat> we'll see what they do. I'd really like to get that book from them, but I'm not sure that without my garrison army at Camry. Not 
convinced that my army can take them at all. And in fact, I would be, generally speaking, willing to bet money that my army is not going to be able to take a high elf army. I mean, a wood elf army at this point in the game. <clears throat> not entirely sure why there's a wood elf army in the middle of nowhere. Um, that's a weird, kind of an odd spawn for it. You would think that a roving wood elf army would spawn in a wooded area and not in the desert, but... I don't know. See, there's still putzing around here. I'm not sure. I don't know if it has something to do with the pillar. Or what. But. Don't know. But. I'm curious. Can I leave this? Not really. I build in here? Anything that would help public order? That would. Obelisk. Um. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Like let's go. Give these orcs what for? <coughs> um. I guess that's about it. This turn. One point until that city upgrades, so that'll give us something to do. And there we go, popular light. Voice crack and population surplus. So, our goal for... I mean, I've never played these guys before, so I'm kind of... Kind of getting used to figuring them out. I mean, I've played several campaigns in this game before. Um, and as I've said in the, in the first video... This is definitely one of my favorite Total War titles. Um, <clears throat> I think it's really well done. It runs surprisingly well. Hmm, interesting. Um, anyway, it runs surprisingly well for a game of its, you know, graphic fidelity. Um, I wonder if I could intercept that army. Go ahead and speed that up a little bit. I don't know if I said this in the first episode, I think I did, um, but I am playing this on hard, so, um, could be a bit of a challenge, but I don't think it would be too difficult. I've got decent troops here, There's, they're not going to take that, so I think they'll be fine. Which means I want, they can get close to Gorgazon, but I think I can catch them if they try that. Um, and let's build obelisk. And I can't upgrade. Because there's a population surplus. And I don't... Yeah, okay. So I guess that's another end turn. I mean, this is convenient because if I can smash their army here... Oh, was there something else I could have done here? Totally missed that. Uh, anyway, if I can smash that army... And destroy the army sieging my city. That'll put me in a pretty good position to take Galbaraz. Which. Is good. This is really convenient. Because I can wipe out that army now. And that army isn't sieging me. Okay. So if I can destroy both of these armies, we'll be in good shape. Really good shape, actually. So, alright. Mission issued. Raise or sack a settlement. Belonging to the Rekaf dynasty. Oh, the enemies of the dynasty, the Sturgis Empire, which is over here, I believe. I think that's these guys. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> but let's do this first before we do anything else. You can upgrade. That gives us some pretty good... Good rolling there. I don't... 
This army could be difficult, but I think we'll be okay. Our hero and special unit are in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and get into this. Yeah, they don't have much in the way of ranged units, which means that I have an advantage right now because I don't have ranged units either, and my troops are a little bit better. Which is good. So hopefully this isn't a painfully long loading screen. Because sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. That kind of depends. Looks like this one's not going to be too bad, so that's pretty good. And I'm certainly open, if you're watching this and want to see a particular faction be played, I'm certainly open to suggestions about the, what, what the next campaign should be. I have no issue doing that. I mean, I've played all of the sort of major factions. I haven't played the... Like, the Britannic factions, I guess. They're not... I'm not sure that's exactly the right thing to call them, but in any case, I haven't played them yet. Um, they're somewhat more challenging than, in my opinion anyway, more challenging than any of the other factions. Alright, we'll put the chariots on that flank, and whiskers on this flank. I think we'll call you whiskers, yeah? Creepy thing. Um, see, I don't need... I don't have a whole lot of need for winds of magic, so I think we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. <clears throat> okay, so I lose here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk my troops forward a little bit here just to see. Go ahead and move whiskers forward. Chariots up on the flank. Now I think their cavalry is on the other flank, right? Yes. Which is good for me because the Sphinx War Sphinx can handle the cavalry. The chariots cannot handle the cavalry. Oh they have cavalry on both both flanks, okay. That's a bit more of a problem than I anticipated, but... I'm gonna try running... I'm curious to see if I can just run... Okay, we're gonna set this up here. Send spearmen after cavalry on both flanks. You after the general, and you right into the middle after the general. And you're gonna go right into the middle as well. I think that's everybody. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> general and... The general and the war sphinx should be more than... Except I don't want you to go in quite that quickly. Wait a minute here. Back up. Alright, I'm hoping my chariots will just smash straight through their lines and I can run them through and come back about. Yeah, okay, now, get moving. Come on, go on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I didn't want to happen here, is I don't want their cavalry to help. Okay, War Sphinx, you get in there. Chariots keep going. At some point here, they're gonna have to turn around and hit this unit of orcs, but... Right now, I just want you to line up again. I wanna hit them in the rear when... whenever they get around to attacking me. War Sphinx, did you... Order didn't take, okay. 
No, I'll come about. Hit these dudes. Actually, no, you hit the archers. That's the most use that you can be. Wait till he's got a bunch of units around him and Chariots are messing with those dudes, but he's back up here. Okay. I think you can just go ahead and help here. Why are you getting wrecked like that? So we're pretty much... I'm gonna send you guys in there. Okay. Where did their war boss go? Is he dead? Did I miss him dying or something? Looks like I may have missed him dying. Apologies, that was my phone going off. So that should pretty much route them. You guys can... Yeah, there we go. And I don't, I don't even need to... Because of the mechanics of the underway, I don't need to, like, finish killing them off because because they ran away in the underway, it automatically finishes them off, I believe. Now, as you can see, my troops are garbage. I mean, really pretty much garbage. Now, their army didn't have a whole lot of troops, so I didn't have to kill a whole lot of them to do anything, but you see the kills on their army relative to my army. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, and my apologies, I just punched the microphone there. I'm going to go for the casualty recruitment. Wait a minute. That's supposed to kill them off when they're in the underway. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. Um, now we have a problem. We have a choice here. We've got to kill them off as best we can. Execute them. In an open field battle, our chariots and Sphinx have a pretty big advantage. Now, the Sphinx is pretty high level, and they don't have a general this time, because I killed their general. So we'll be in pretty good shape. I didn't see their general die. That's why I was confused. I didn't, didn't notice the notification pop up on my screen at all, so... Um... Gambling never pays, that figures. Alright. I'm gonna put you on that flank. Move forward here. 
I'm gonna swing my chariots off to the side. You don't need to move up quite that quickly. So, I don't, this should be a relatively easy battle, I mean. I'm gonna put the war sinks over here and see what, what are they doing. Yeah. Okay. Let's get going here. I'm just gonna kind of mosh pit into this here, I think. I don't really see a better way right now. But I, I want to get their troops engaged with my troops first before the chariots come in. So I want to kind of move the chariots around up here. The War Sphinx should be plenty capable of taking out anything in this. You know, I'm gonna send the War Sphinx after their cavalry. That's probably the best use of my troops right now. Yeah, and it looks like their cavalry is coming after the war sphinx, which is perfect. So I'm gonna send my troops in to help there. Alright, perfect. Send my chariots in to help. This is good. Okay. We seem to be in fairly decent shape here. The Sphinx is doing its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and send the chariots in behind these dudes. The Sphinx is in good shape. Still expensive, but I mean you can see what units in the in my army are doing the most damage. I mean that's pretty obvious. I mean as long as I've got their army occupied over here by me. Alright, we completely destroyed that army. And I now have no troops left whatsoever. 
So, we'll go ahead and add some troops in here. We're gonna go another couple of turns here. We'll see, kind of see what happens. Um, I'm I'm waiting for Gorgazon to kind of chillax a little bit here. I'm hoping that the combination of a level two settlement and that obelisk will help calm things down there, public order wise. Um, that seems to be one of the early game issues with this faction is public order. Um, I assume. That mechanic is a result, or supposed to be a result of the fact that skeleton overlord, like Egyptian skeleton overlord dudes, are um, like controlling humans, and the humans don't want to be screwed by the skeletons. I'm gonna assume that that's that's the case. I'm gonna stick this on. The Sphinx. So the two best units in your be in your beginning army are, you know, clearly the your Lord and the Sphinx. I mean, those are the only things that have any chance of standing up to anything you fight, basically. Um, and then the chariots are pretty good if you use them properly, like I did in that battle, um, and don't lose them immediately, like I did in the first battle or the second battle of the first episode, something like that. Okay, we don't winds of magic doesn't matter. Um, this battle could be a little bit more interesting. The terrain, or the battle conditions are going to kind of favor me. So. Alright, I want to move forward here. Contrary to being in a typical defensive position, I need to move forward here. I think I need to go, I think I need to go to them more than I, they can come to me. So I'd like... Alright. Alright, so that's... And apologies, my phone is still going off. I'm gonna just throw it on the floor for now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Keep going. Great King. My orders. All right, go ahead and swing in here. I don't actually know if we can win this battle. I'm not sure. But you guys need to keep going. I don't... I, what I can't do is let them get caught by cavalry. And I can't let him get caught by anything, basically. He's gonna die. I need you to come in and rescue Cetra. Get going, get going, get going, get going. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. There we go. Obey! Move! Yeah. Yep. Alright. You're doing your stuff, you're doing your stuff. Alright. Do as I say! This is probably a dumb idea. This is most likely going to result in a second step.
whatever. What is going on? Right, turn around. Right, Sphinx, hit the cavalry. Or they're gonna kill Satra. Great king. So that was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. Um, <laughs> we're pretty much out of troops at this point. So we'll have to do a complete rebuild here. Um, which favors, I think favors the orcs more than it favors me, but we'll see. Uh, but in any case, I think that'll just about be the end of the episode for today. Um, We've had quite a number of battles in this episode. Uh, we need some time for our Lord and the Sphinx in particular, and the Chariots as well to recover. I mean, you can see who did the most damage. Those three. And I'm... What you should be doing, absolutely should be doing, is taking the Canopic Jars. Um, that's one of your other sort of special, or that is your other one of your other sort of special resources. Um, and you definitely want to try and take that, but there's just so much going on right now that I don't feel I can afford to not take the unit replenishment at the moment. So... Are they close enough? Okay. Alright, no, that's a dumb idea. Okay. So, go ahead and get some more troops rolling. Uh, casualty replenishment rate. Um, and you can see public orders increasing here. It's only going down by minus one here. Um, so, in any case, I think that's going to be about the end of the episode for today. Um, we destroyed a bunch of orcs. Uh, let's, let's check how we compare. So, to the top uh, knots now... We now outrank them military power-wise. We've destroyed enough of their enough of their armies that we're outranking them fairly heavily militarily. So I think in the next episode we're gonna try and finish off this army and then go for Agrul Migdal. I think Galmaraz is gonna be the episode after that, depending on how long it takes us to get Agrul. Um but we'll go ahead and try and maintain. Now that's interesting. I forbid this. Might be a change of plans. We may I go after Zandri instead. Because it's enemy. It's part of our home province. And it, it's right nearby. Uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. I will do be doing another episode of this yet this week. Uh, so if you're really looking forward to this, you know, it'll be on Thursday or Friday. Uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure you leave a comment if you have something to say. Make sure you leave a like if you liked it. Uh, and please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Only